What's going on guys? Today I have some new updates for the price action order entry. In order to keep this video from being too long, we will focus only on the updates for version 4.2. Uh, I'll show them on the screen right now. If you're looking for additional information or you've never used these buttons before, I highly recommend watching these other videos. Uh, they're my previous videos and they go over every parameter uh, and these should answer most questions that you may have. So make sure you check them out. Before we get started, I just want to mention that these buttons alongside any other indicators I make are 100% free. I also recommend joining my new Discord uh, to get early access to any new updates and any new content. Uh, links for everything is going to be in the description down below. But with that being said, let's get into it. The first thing I want to go over in this new update is the way the entry line works. Uh, in previous versions, the price had to go beyond the, the line in order to enter. So this means if you're trading futures, you need it to go one tick above the line in order to enter. I changed that so the line now acts more as a stop market order. So as soon as it touches, that's when it's going to trigger your order. The next thing we're going to go over is probably the number one requested feature. Uh, we now have the ability to enter using limit orders, uh, using the high low or the close option. Uh, if you want to keep it as just a market order, you can unclick that and it will be just a market order how it was before. When you select this check mark, once price reaches your entry line price, this will submit a limit order to enter you into a trade. Order so it will submit a limit order where your entry line would have been. So here, three, nine, eight, five, one, two, five. So we'll run through an example on the offset for the limit price only. So now you will see a new offset option for just the limit orders. This will move your limit order either beyond the line or uh, below it. So whatever you want to choose, that's where it will be. So let's run through an example real quick. Order. So now Let's say you want to have your limit order two ticks above your entry line. You can set that to two, apply, down. Order submitted. And now you can see your limit order is at 398.75, which that's two ticks above where your entry line would have been. And now for another example, let's say you want your limit order to be below your entry line. You're waiting for a retracement. You want to get an even better price. You can set that to negative two ticks. Now, th this is important to remember. Your any offset is always going to pick the highest number. So remember, zero is higher than a negative number. Uh, if you're just using ticks, you can set this to negative 99, negative 99 to whatever number would be lower than the offset option you want to use. But just for this example, I'm gonna use negative two ticks because that is higher than negative 99% or negative 99 price. So we hit apply. And we enable this. Order submitted. And now you can see your limit order is now two ticks below your entry line. And you can also move this around freely, uh, whatever you want to do. And move order it up if submitted. you want to get filled. Now, the last thing I want to touch on when it comes to limit orders. Uh, 
because of the way this is coded, in the case you get only a partial fill. So let's say this happens where you submitted 100 shares or 100 contracts and you only got filled 64. It's not going to submit a, a stop or a profit until after this candle closes. So we'll speed this up a little bit. So as soon as a new candle opens, then it will submit your stop and your limit order. Uh, and it will also cancel the rest of your remaining balance. The next feature we're going to look at was also highly requested. We're going to look at your number three risk parameter. And here under position size method, you will find two different options now. You have your option of your last bar position, which this is how it was before, where it uses your max loss per trade and the range of the last closing candle to auto calculate your share size or your contract size. But now you can also select custom uh, position. And what this does is you can select your own custom position if you have a set amount of shares or contracts that you want to enter with, you can do that as well. And for this, this disables your max loss per trade and your share calculation method. So don't, don't worry about those when you select custom position. And we'll see how that works. Order submitted. Order submitted. And it just submits five. So whatever number you want to pick, completely up to you now. And now for the next feature, uh, we're going to look at your number four parameter and you're gonna see some new options here. Uh, now we have the ability to set a second profit target. And this will split your share size into a percentage uh, of your choosing. And percentages are written out as decimals. So in this case, what I'm telling you to do is your final profit will still be at the 5R target and your first target is gonna be 25% of your total share size and we're going to set it at the 2R target. So let's see how that works. First to 100, just for easier numbers. So 25% of 100 shares are going to be set at the 2R mark. Order submitted. Or, order submitted. So, so there you go. The, you have your 100 shares. 25% of them get submitted at the 2R level and then the rest at your 5R level. And you can move these around wherever you want after. And now for the next thing is, I, I want to make this very clear. Uh, the way this is coded is using a managed approach, uh, which is basically in an easier way to code your entries and your stops and your profits. Uh, the downside is, it is pretty limited on what it can do. So what this means is when you use the dual target option, it actually submits two separate orders. This will cost double the commissions because it's two separate entries, two separate profits, two separate stops. So just be careful of that. Uh, that is something I, I wanna work on later on, it's just a bit more advanced programming. Another thing I want to note is if you're using a dual target option and you only get a partial fill, any break even or any trail stops that you have selected are going to be disabled. 
uh, only when those two options are met. So you see it's not working and you only had a partial fill, just know it is normal. Uh, it is how it is designed because of the way this is coded. Uh, it is a little bit limited. So just keep that in mind. The last thing I want to go over is your fib level button. And what this does is once you're in a trade, you can toggle on or off your uh, fib levels, which will show your R targets. Uh, in order to get this set up properly, uh, there's a few things you have to configure. And I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. The easiest way to set your fib levels up is to first go to your drawing tools, go to your Fibonacci retracement, or you can push F8 as well. I like to just draw a random, and then you can right click and go to properties. And you scroll down to your anchors and your levels. Uh, so let me remove all these and we can start fresh. So first you're going to need a 0% and you're going to need your positive 100. So that'd be your zero to a hundred. Now for your R targets, they're all going to be negative numbers. So your one R is going to be negative 100. Two R is going to be negative 200. Three R will be negative 300 and so on, as many as you want to add. Just make sure they are negative numbers. And before you exit out of here, make sure you save and save this as default. So then once you enter a new trade, just delete that. Order submitted. Or, order submitted. And now you will see your fib levels are marked at the whatever you chose. And you can toggle those on and off. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it or found it useful, please give a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feature requests, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, also, if you never want to miss any new updates or new indicators, make sure you subscribe and join the Discord. It's 100% free. So, that's all for now. Take care, guys. Enjoy.